Good afternoon, everybody. I thought it would be appropriate to talk about security and put a battle helmet on while we're on an aircraft carrier, because anybody ever done an ICO or participated in one, um, trust me, you should be wearing this while you're actually like, hey, somebody just emailed me something from an uh, email address I've never saw before, seen before. This is coolico.com at the end. Here's one of the great challenges in decentralized cybersecurity is that we have this new thing. It's called the blockchain. Everybody knows it's immutable, it's trustless, it's censorship proof. That's fantastic. There's a little minor detail. Was the transaction intended? So what that means is if I borrow your private key and I do a transaction on the chain, did you intend to do the transaction? No. What evidence on the chain is there that I borrowed your key? None. There's just the evidence I did the transaction. I'm not gonna say, well you did the transaction, I didn't do it. So it's fascinating when you, for money it's easy, we just stole your money. But if I'm gonna put your medical records on, who put the medical records on? What medical records did they put on? How do I know the medical records they put on were your medical records? What if they were fake medical, medical records? It's an interesting challenge. Why is this important? Because at the end of the day, as we improve the quality of the information on the chain, the value of the information on the chain goes up. And so today, while we have immutable data and it's relatively simple, the opportunity is to dramatically increase the value on chain. And if we do that, now we can start to have transactions that came from a known device in a known condition with known controls that are immutable and haven't been changed. As opposed to just stuff we wrote in a database. So what's trusted execution? Inside the hardware of your phone, in the chipsets of your phone, is a second operating system, the ability to store and process secrets. It's how Apple Pay does Apple Pay. It's how Samsung does Knox. It's how your cable box does pay-per-view. It's a technology that's been around for a long time. It's very broadly deployed. It's designed to protect your private key and do instructions. It's been shipped on about 1.5 billion phones over the last four years, so we like to say we have about 750 million handsets available to us because we figure the first half of the phones are already in somebody's desk drawer wondering why the battery's dead. All right, so the opportunities now turn this technology and enable it. So what we're doing is trying to bring those tools to work because trusted computing forms instructions, or you could say it, trusted computing operates tokens, tokens operate chains. By the way, what are the trusted computing devices you can buy here? Trezor or Ledger at the hardware desk, those are trusted computing devices. So I'm gonna wrap up here because they've shortened the time because we've been consuming your entire afternoon. And um, Rivets is a company that's bringing a new economic model. I'll leave you with one thought. The previous presentation was entertaining talking about the aspect of cybersecurity or of security tokens. Utility is this new business model for software. This is how we're going to pay for services and controls in the future world. And I'll leave you with one thought. Machines don't watch ads. Machines are gonna need a source of money to pay for services because they're not gonna watch ads. And if you expect your machines to be able to access this fantastic ecosystem that is the internet, you're gonna need to give your machine an allowance. What you're watching here is the industry that's going to give your machine an allowance. And that set of tools is actually larger than the aggregate value of all the companies that you could, if you would put all the stocks into a blockchain. Actually, all the revenue for all the services that we spend out there is a bigger number. So this is a modernization of how we pay cross-border globally for services in machine-level money. Thank you very much.